Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another Redstone video and today it is super early in the morning so I do apologise if I sound a little bit different but I just received a message from Dinnerbone on Skype telling me that he has released a new Redstone feature into the game and he wanted me to test it out and to see how cool it was and this obviously got me very very excited indeed so I've decided to hop in here, I've created a few tests and things like that and we're going to be taking a look at how this whole thing works. So basically the idea is, is that you can now use mobs in redstone contraptions so for example right here we've got a bunch of chickens now apparently chickens can link together to create a sort of redstone wire so as you can see here we flick this lever and the chickens are powered the chickens are powering this redstone lamp it's really bizarre i don't like i never expected to see this this is one of those features that i could never have predicted but you know what this could come in handy. So up here I've set up a sort of little redstone contraption. As you can see when we flick this lever right here, it spawns a ton of chickens. It makes a load of noise. I do apologise. But when we flick this lever, look! The redstone is going through this line of chickens right here. And it's powering the redstone lamp. But if we turn it off, I mean how cool is that? Chicken wire! We've got chicken wire ladies and gentlemen. But other mobs do other things as well. So we'll turn this off and take a look at those. So as you guys know, in Minecraft 1.9, the shulker was added. Now if this guy shoots you, you actually levitate up into the sky, which I guess Mojang took as being like a, a vertical type thing. So if you have got a shulker, and then you have another shulker directly above it, and you power the bottom shulker, the redstone will actually be transmitted vertically upwards to any of the highest shulkers. So as you can see right here, if we flick this lever, the redstone lamp turns on. Look, this shulker right here is powered. It is powering this shulker, which is powering this redstone lamp. And if we take a look around this redstone lamp, as you can see, there is no funny business going on. We can go underneath it. There's absolutely nothing underneath there. This shulker right here is powering the redstone lamp. And it's like wireless redstone, essentially. Vertical wireless redstone. I have waited for this day for ages. I just didn't expect it to come in this form. Now this next one is a bit of a strange one, so you're going to have to bear with me here, but you can now charge up cows. Yes, you can now charge cows with a redstone signal. As you can see right here, if we just chuck a cow down in those redstone blocks, then place some blocks on top, that little cow right there will turn it into a mushroom. So if we take out these two blocks, as you can see, we now have ourselves a mushroom, which means that he is now powered. He is a powered cow, so we just push him along like this, just make his way over to these redstone lamps right over here you can see that he has now powered those redstone lamps. Those redstone lamps are now switched on. They are being powered by the cow, which I know sounds absolutely ridiculous, but that's the way things work in this update. So we have it, folks. Those are just some of my early findings with the latest redstone updates. Of course, I am going to be building contraptions using these new mechanics over the next couple of weeks, so you've got that to look forward to. This update is really awesome, and I'm sure there are tons of useful things that we can use this mechanic for. But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.